Hello, I'm Nova SC, and I'm going to be casting a random 4v4. Definitely random. Um, it's random teams and everything. And why would I be casting a random 4 with random teams and everything? Well, I've actually uploaded a part of this already in a video called Pro Hallucination Has, um, Harass. I love that video. It's only a few seconds, but it makes me laugh frequently. Not every time, because I'm not that dumb. But I better start intro introducing the players. I've over me. I'm Nova. I'll go talking about this sort of chat in a sec. I'll just introduce everyone. There's a barcode of Team Roots, sort of defeating the purpose of having a um, barcode there. Um, a Yeah, defeating the purpose of a barcode if you're just going to identify yourself. Um, there's a good... this is this name. Um, another Zerg who's, who, who saw what's it. Um, so we've got two Protosses, two Zergs on my team, and I'm against, I think, two Zergs, a Protoss and a Terran. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Their names are Chris, very easy to pronounce. Um, Saha, of, I'm assuming that's a Hang DGG. Um, Needle, I think Needle. Um, and and this guy who is called Aero so Solu, I think Aero Solu. Yep, looking good. So much chatting has been going on. Um, unfortunately, it pauses the game, but whatever. Uh, come on, that's low root team um, versus no noob team, obviously. Referring to this guy with the clan tag of Roots, however it's spelt with... I'm not sure how you can see it. You can definitely see it somewhere. It's spelt with... Like that, with O's instead of letter O's. Zeros instead of letter O's, so it's quite obvious he's not from the actual team Root. I'm blowing into my mic, I apologise. And he complains about Blizzard for the randomness. And he says, he announces he's stoned, as stoned people like to do. Uh, I forget to wall, which is very unlike me. This is a fairly old game. Um, I he announces we go to my barcode friend, and I announce that I'm going to be massing sentries, of course. So that's got you up to date there. And my ally Protoss is going for the Phoenix. Zerg and Zergies aren't playing, aren't being quite as talkative as us, but that's fair enough. Niddle is communicating. I enjoy that. Who else is who else is communicated? This guy. This heron has communicated. He's actually walling off, which is very nice. Very unlike team games to wall off, as I've demonstrated here. Though I usually wall off. I usually get annoyed when people don't wall off. So this is sort of hypocritical of me. But I do indeed and um, I do indeed intend to mass sentry. I can't remember how exactly how well it went. In fact, I can't remember who won this game. But I remember like the key amazing parts of it, which is why I'm casting it right now. Um, this is Zerg is going for a 10-10, so 10 gas, 10 pull. A very cheesy looking stuff. He's going also going for a speed build of speedlings, but slightly more standard. As is this opponent, who's actually playing very standard indeed. Um, one drone goes down. And that's it. That's it. That's one drone died for about four lings, I think. Quite a few lings died there. He might try it again. For some reason I'm taunting, that's not like me at all, but I love what I see. <laughs> We're doomed. Literally are. And yeah, one drone. That's pretty bad. Um We're pretty pleased. But we don't care give a shit because it's 4v4 and I don't know if anyone actually cares about 4v4. Apart from maybe the top eight masters who suddenly think they're good. Which <laughs> why am I hating everyone? I don't understand. Um, Terran is going for two barracks into a, a, a factory. Um, I expect to see a tech lab or a reactor, probably, out of one of these barracks. Yeah, but let's accept that. That's probably going to happen. Reaper comes in. I don't have a stalker, embarrassing, be, embarrassingly, because I'm only going to be making sentries, which does give me a disadvantage. Um, two stargates at one base for my Protoss ally. Very standard stuff out of both these players now. Um, he's droned up reasonably well. Oh, and now he's making only circlings. Okay, so playing very aggressive, trying to claim that map control for his own. But if it goes, if anything, if the last attack was anything to go by, um, he probably won't achieve very much. Expand coming out from the most standard player in this whole game. Uh, he's playing pretty standard as well, actually. To be fair, hatchery, yeah, many lings, many lings. Seems like a good call. He's seeing a lot of zerglings out of both of my zerg allies. Uh, very spine, very spininess coming out of here, here, Chris. <laughs> I don't know how I'm speaking. 
<laughs> this is just such this is such weird English I'm using. Um, I'm be like a new Shakespeare, inventing new phrases and terms through my casts of StarCraft games. And nice, nice players here helping out their allies. This is just very unlike a four before. But there's a bit too many lings now. He's probably gonna be losing quite a few units. And this is the problem of playing Prosos. Your units are weak in the early game, and it's very easy to lose them uncost effectively. Um, Queen goes down. Again, not very much damage from these lings. Um, my team, my team's ling control isn't fantastic. Getting a good amount of scouting information and and. Um, distracting our opponents however so it allows me lots of time to get up these set these sentries which aren't going to achieve anything and him to get his phoenixes which haven't achieved anything quite yet but may well do um, the possibilities are pretty much the possibilities are pretty much in the sir um, he's checking out some bases everyone's playing pretty damn good I'm liking it I think this was in the days when I was actually decently ranked in team play and team games due to um, fairly regular play because I used to use team games as a way of warming up. Now I tend to just play 1v1s to warm up because it makes a lot more sense to be honest. Taking out an overlord. That's probably the first major damage apart from that queen that went down that's been done all game. We're honestly not looking too good. We have some bases going up though, however. The attempted anal rape from my ally didn't actually go too well. Um, a fail, a miserable fail at anal rape doesn't, isn't such a good thing to be proud of. <clears throat> he did manage the supply cap, and um, our Zerg allies are micro. Oh, this micro is fantastic. The Zerg and his micro. I'm using my sentries to the best of my ability, making a hallucinated Colossus. Hopefully, they think he's they're up against Colossus now. A spire has gone down, but that was already there. Hopefully we see lots of corruptors coming out of our opponent. Um, wouldn't be too good for my Phoenix ally, however, he can just avoid them, avoid those corruptors without much issue. And Iron Pulse Crystals are still in the game because even though this is a fairly old game, it is Heartless Form. All the same upgrades are still there. Uh, hasn't been any balance patches apart from one, I think, since then as well, so pretty much the same game. Except I did still have to load my Starcraft again to load this replay. That was a slight inconvenience. Oh no! Oh no, this changeling's gonna see I have drone um, probes. Damn, that's annoying information. If I was. Ooh. I just. I didn't want him to see I had probes. I was sort of hiding the fact that I might have had SCVs. So that was a big blow to me. And um, more sentries coming in for me. I'm going for the forge. Double forge upgrades for my sentries. <laughs> um, I have a Twilight Council so that I can get those plot 2-2 two, two for my sentries nice and fast. Um, I said run, because I was expecting the Zerg to actually deal damage, but he didn't. You couldn't really retreat with his Nexus to be honest though anyway, so sort of futile. I have quite a few sentries now, 8, um, 10, 12, 14 sentries. Looking good, looking good on the sentry front. I can certainly, certainly start making some things which um, have absolutely no use considering my opponents are likely to have detection mighty soon. Um, very secure bases. I'm um, helping each other out. These these guys are really cool. Um, Spores, two spines, two mines. Really nice safe bases. Mine dealing significant damage to that. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> what? 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 Why would I do that? <laughs> what? They're like Oh shit, Colossus, kill him! Kill the Colossus! <laughs> kill the Colossus! <laughs> Alright, um... Okay, cool. So I have sent sentries, I know how to use them. More Colossus coming on in. Um, everyone's playing pretty damn fast, he's actually getting the Iron Pulse Crystal, so everyone's playing pretty damn good. Uh, big, big numbers of units here, actual Corruptors coming out from the Zerg, probably not a good choice uh, against Sentry Phoenix. I mean, the Corruptors aren't really going to be able to catch up to the Phoenix, so they are going to be good in a straight up engagement. I send my Colossus hallucinations to attack the opponent. Going to be shutting down this base, and it works! They shoot them, <laughs> they shoot them. <laughs> they shoot the hatchery down. They shoot the hatchery down. 
and I'm pleased, as you can see. <laughs> I think I... wait a minute, let me see my APM. I think I must have taken my hand off the computer here. No, I'm still playing pretty fast, I guess. I want to... if I had any sort of patience, I'd go back and see if I actually took my hand and everything's off the keyboard at that point. Um... <laughs> wait, did I say that's our allies? Okay, cool. Big numbers of um, Zerglings going in there, going to be harassing. Um, changelings, interestingly. With the army. A huge number of Colossus again being hallucinated. Again, he has to cancel. What if they're real? What if they're real? He he cannot risk losing the two, the 300 minerals. If he doesn't cancel and they happen to be real ones this time, who knows? Who knows? I might be able to soak up some winner mine shops as well. Ooh. Cancel. Not quite as successful this time. Going down to the huge numbers of corruptors. Um, mainly corruptor broodlord force. This is quite an old sort of style. Um, or quite a classic one. You just have anti ground and anti air. It's quite nice. Probably one of the best um, general purpose anti air units that um, Zerg has. With one of the most general purpose anti-ground units that they have, so pretty good. Again, making some Colossus, um, Colossus for no apparent reason. Losing two sentries, which is actually 200 gas on one volley, which isn't very good. Large numbers of uh, Musilus as well coming out. Huge, really huge gateway force. Uh, no Colossus coming out from the sky, is there really? No? No real tech, interestingly enough. Um, but this process hasn't actually got a base, so there's no really no real chance. Oh, I made zealots. Oh, I'm how embarrassing. How I'm, I'm, I got my oh 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 I had a I was I was getting the <laughs> I was getting the um make like 500 hallucination no it's absorb like 500 damage with hallucinations achievement yeah that's why I played this game I remember now. Okay, now I'm massing carriers apparently. And I completely forgot about this. Really big army from my opponents though. Um, swarm hosts coming from this Zerg. Uh, not quite enough. Though they are actually dealing a small amount of damage. Which is cool. Um, I s <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? So, I suicide my sentries in to, to deal 75% damage to a one Broodlord. <laughs> so I lost about 2 grand of gas there. Excellent. Um, now I'm making carriers, surely. Is this me? Yeah, I'm thinking making void rays to begin with, then carriers. Um, but the excessive numbers of Phoenix are going to be overwhelming at this point. Phoenix actually are pretty good against Corruptors. Because the, though the Phoenix don't do additional damage to the Corruptors, and the Corruptors have good, um, um, a very good armor of two, the Corruptors don't do additional damage to the Phoenix. So they're both pretty bad against each other. So <laughs> they trade like okay there. And as long as you're focusing down well, like you, like this guy is here. I mean, they're trading not too bad. And this is a really cool engagement with the swarm hosts backing up here. All that's going to be left is these air units. It's just a battle of the skies at the moment. Very interesting. Little hidden base here in the corner from my opponent, Mr. Biff, Mr. Chris. Brutal is going to be really hard to deal with. Are they upgraded? No, not, not upgrades. He might be working on them though. Little, 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 little. He is not upgrading them. Probably would be a good idea. It's quite a lot. Am I taking a base? I have taken a base. I'm at three bases though. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I apologise for that. I recently had a can of Pepsi. Whoops. Right. <laughs> um, three bases. This one's pretty much mining out, however. Um, oh, actually, sorry. That's not even my base. This one's mining out, however. Still, um, now my carriers are coming out three at a time. Really good upgrades. Um, I'm getting ground armor for some reason, even though I'm going to mass carriers. Um, probably the heat of the moment is the only problem there. Um, the Anaheim Pulse Cru Crystal is proving to be very useful against all of these units. In fact, none of the units here can actually outrange the Phoenix at this point, so it's really nice. These swarm hosts are being obscenely wow. 
so many kills. So many kills. Stormhost is doing really good work here. And I'm really impressed with my Zergs on this team. Looking really good. I would, might, might start getting some carries out pretty soon. How many am I at? One and a two. Gonna have to start um, auto training those interceptors. To do that, I use the Alt X command. As you can see, I changed my hotkey settings to do this. You can see the Alt and the X key are very close together. If we press them together, it actually automatically builds the interceptors. Pretty cool stuff. Um, what else? What else can I talk about? There are huge amounts of things going on here. Lots of spores everywhere for all players in this game, um, apart from this base. Uh, and that's because there's so many air units going around, many mobile units. I have void rays, um, because I can get carriers straight away. What's the next best thing? Probably void rays, if not marines. And that is silly. That is that is really kill that is really fast. Void rays are good units. I'm going to die to Corruptors though, so I probably should have saved that, um, whatever this is called, Prismatic Alignment ability for the Corruptors. But they might still win. They might actually still win. That pretty much died. 18 HP left. Damn, that's cost effective. 3 kills, 4 kills, many Corruptors dying. But as soon as we get too outnumbered, they fall pretty fast. Lots of harassment coming here from... Hellions. There's most of my probes here, I think. Many zealots being warped in to try and deal with that. Zealots left over from the mass centurying days. And I look at the units, I think I'm at about six carries. Not that impressive. I'm one of the least impressive game players in this game. Huge amounts of skater units still from this Protoss. Really weird style. I mean, just incorporating a few Colossus here would just work wonders because if you have two Colossus at the back they are not going to get past all of these sentries and stalkers the opponent's army I mean lots of lifts but just too many sentries um, I've got my big death army of carriers ideally wouldn't be in this position at all ideally would be back home in the safety of their armchairs but no somehow working their magic really good micro from me and my ally here my ally just mindlessly lifting up everything which is going to work out fine because it's going to be distracting the fire from my carriers which are putting in some serious work. Carriers of course um, scale up their DPS extremely much from each um, upgrade because every interceptor gets an upgrade, there are a maximum of 8 interceptors, every interceptor attacks twice, that's a lot of multiplications going on there. So many multiplications I'm not going to do it while talking. Hellion's still going on. It's really action-packed game but from all sides. Carrier fighting. Actually, doing pretty good work here <laughs> with penis support. Um, that's actually. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. When he said that, I thought crop does sort of look like penises. I've got to say. But yeah, mass numbers of Phoenix coming in. <laughs> I agree for some reason. I don't know what I'm doing. It's a pretty fun game. Sexy corrupt corrupt they are they are gorgeous those corruptors, I agree. With my past self. Really nice range on the Phoenixes. This is such a good army we've got here. Working on Three shields, looking good. And Zerg doesn't really have an answer for this, so they can't just make one unit and do it. It's not quite as simple as just that. Zerg really needs they need a mixture of the Phoenix. Um, I'm sorry, of the <laughs> rubbing it in. <laughs> I'm literally not even microing this game, am I? Wait a minute. APM. Oh, that's not the right button. APM. <laughs> oh cool. 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 Yeah, so that's that's GG. I hope you enjoyed that game. Um Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> I actually did as well. I actually got a glass of water and just an egg flex at this point. Yeah, so Zerg definitely needed um, Hydras and Investors and a mixture of all these anti-air units. Um, but even as they did that, it's one player with a decent economy against all of these carriers, all of these Broodlords for some reason, Corruptors, Phoenix. And yeah, it was a really good game all around. Um, good harassment all going around from both teams. Big engagements, and the game was pretty much decided in this massive engagement here, which I'd made very little impact on. So, overall, we can conclude I didn't really help, but <laughs> it was fun and we enjoyed the time. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, as I, <laughs> yeah, I hope you enjoyed that game. I definitely did. I had a lot of fun playing it and talking about it in a loud fashion. I'll, I'll see you later. Goodbye.